of Bruce is on. Well, would you look at this? Another UFO coming down out of the sky going, or going across the sky. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for taking the time to subscribe. Nobody has since February, so let's go. Let's help this channel grow. UFOs on the 28th. We're today, July 30th, waiting to get the sun. I'm up before the sun this morning. Like always, trying to get some uh, good stuff in the sky. There were UFOs on the 28th of July, again, two days ago. And here's a little glimpse of the sky. Watch what people miss. Watch what I miss. I'm going to go up very slowly and you're going to see a UFO in the distance flash and something come down right after. Boom. See that? So there they are rising right there. Tip of the tree here. See? Watch right here. We'll see them go by. Awesome. Even flashing for us. Awesome. Look under it. There's a second one. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone, for taking the time to stop by and check out the research. Now we are up in the Milky Way. See the disturbance, the fizzing, the light? That's the sun. Aurora's on the way tonight. Check this out, an interaction with the sky. I don't need any lasers. This is what I do and watch in real time. Anyone else going to come into frame? Going by the dipper now. There we go, right by the dipper. But you watch their buddies there. You watch. We should see some buddies. There. Thank you. Honestly, how can you not thank them after doing that? I'm going to post this whole part of the video so that you see it. The ionosphere is constantly changing because it's formed when particles are ionized by the sun's energy. The ionosphere changes from Earth's day side to night side. When night falls, the ionosphere thins out as previously ionized particles relax and recombine back into neutral particles. Did you know that roughly 49% of solar radiation is infrared? About 7% is ultraviolet. What you're witnessing is, wow, infrared camera picking up the radiation arriving to Earth as they transform themselves back into neutral particles. Poof, amazing, eh? Science is incredible. We don't know anything about it, but it sure is nice to check out. What we're going through right now on the sun are very rare. They're associated with solar corona mass ejections. When plasma from the sun with its embedded magnetic field arrives to Earth, it may possibly cause widespread and long-lasting damage to our electrical grid systems. Also, satellites, electronic navigation systems, and undersea cables are all in danger. Remember this big dangerous spot? Looked like a dragon at one point. Not that long ago, a couple months back, we had auroras here because of some major corona mass ejections and radiation that uh, headed towards Earth. But now more corona mass ejections headed towards Earth. Possibly tonight, we could see more auroras. Hopefully the sky will be clear. This is an ejection you see there on the right. Plasma leaving the sun that you see here. 
on the right and on the left it's literally a coronal mass ejection that by chance thank you god i was able to capture and if not it's a starship leaving the sun i mean seriously that is an object entire object of mass many times bigger than earth that either um, solidified and took off at leaving the sun because of an explosion or it's literally a spaceship whatever you want to come to the assumption it's a mass that is very large Now this is scary when the sun does this. It's normal, they say, it flips around. It's all mixed up, the magnetism, uh, the pole is flipped. Remember yesterday it was the other way around, that small, well, the large sunspot on the bottom was on the top yesterday, just less than 24 hours ago, actually. And now, completely flipped around. That is crazy. Let's get some close-ups. This is July 30th, the sun. Paul Sable, Pat Yassar, our Darla Lama, Ruth Kelly, everyone who contributed, gifting out the memberships, and every way you have, Kristen Kruger, Michelle Preston. Thank you so much for the generous contributions, everyone. Thank you, Eric Dubé. Merci pour tout. Ah, uh, aliens on the moon. When are they going to tell the world? Come on, Pentagon. Aliens on the moon. Aliens on the moon. And they mind it. Thank you very much for the support to this channel. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Doesn't matter cause disclosure's coming soon.